Let's drop! What's going on YouTube? Are you ready to be entertained? And right now, at this very moment, I've got the San Francisco 49ers versus the defending AFC champs, Denver Broncos. And man, do we got a lot of stuff going on in the NFL and in this game and this young season. We got players hitting their wives. We got players hitting their kids. We got players beating up women and doing drugs and getting suspended for stuff. Man, it's like you can't walk the streets and you got to watch your back. You used to watch your back for someone trying to rob you. Now you got to watch your back for an NFL player. And oh, right there, I almost threw an interception. And here we go. This is going to be an exciting game. Stick around. I want to talk about a variety of topics and a couple things that, you know, kind of bother me about what other commentators do. This might be a little controversial here. Yeah, you know, me? Controversy? That No. We wouldn't want to do that. So I just want to talk quickly about, you know, some social issues that we have going. There is an interception, but that's the... Uh, one of the few ones that you get in this game. Um, so I'm going to talk about a little bit about social issues for one. Um, man, the NFL, they've got an image problem right now. A very bad image problem. And this isn't like it's, it's this is new. <laughs> this is just, uh, it's coming to the forefront because you had Ray Rice like knocking out his girlfriend on, on tape, which I don't know what anybody... What did they expect to see on that tape? Did he like blow on her like with the with the fierce like uh, the big bad wolf and she just fell over and she was knocked out? No, uh, uh, I don't think that there was going to be any surprise on that tape. I think some people thought that maybe she was hitting him during it and that might have made it OK. But I don't think anybody expected to see what they saw. And I'm going to just leave it at that, man. But yeah, the NFL right now. Oh, that bad pass right there. I'm going to have to sell for three. But I don't. I think the NFL has a big time image problem. But it's it's kind of like like every year there's a bunch of shark attacks and it happens all the time. And it's just it's what the media has picked now to hone in on. Like these cases that have come up are old. You know, like Jonathan, uh, what, what's his name, the, the defensive end, Greg Hardy. He was convicted for that in this summer. But now it's all of a sudden it's an issue. There was almost a pick right there. So I'm a little I'm a little disturbed by that. It's like the media is like, all right. Man, it, did this dude like do anything domestically? Did you know this? Did this guy knock over his neighbor's plant? We gonna call that domestic this uh, domestic violence, and we gonna bring it into the forefront of the media. There's Demarius picking up a first down. Man, Broncos are good in this game. I'm gonna start using them, by the way. All right, so there's that, and he kicks a field goal to tie it right as halftime expires. So we got that out of the way. Second thing, all right, things that commentators do, other commentators, I could probably do a whole video on this that really bother me. Um, I don't know, I don't know if they bother you, but they kind of bother me. And these are things that I don't do as a commentator that I'm, I might very well do one day. I don't know, I don't want to be a hypocrite too much, but these are things that I see uh, that, uh, yeah. They bother me. They bother me plenty. So uh, the first thing that other commentators do that uh, bother me is um, showing the plays or showing their game plays, you know, three to four seconds after the ball snapped. Like, what is the point of watching somebody else play the game if you can't figure out, you know, what kind of offense they're running? You know, I understand that they might be running somebody else's offense and they got all these adjustments and things like that and that they, 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 they don't want to share. But at the same time, it's like, hey, man, it's a video game. Like, if you were to watch somebody play, like, Mortal Kombat and you were only to show, like, the finishing move, you know, that, that may not be for me, but, you know, I'm going to promise you that when I show you my games, I'm not going to cut off footage uh, <clears throat> either before the snap. I'm going to at least let you see the formation. I might not always tell you exactly what play I'm running, but I'm going to let you figure it out. There's always a way to figure it out. Patrick Willis. Almost cussed right there. Patrick Willis should have had that. Here he hits me up on the screen on third and 15. Devastating first down right there. But like I said before, I'm always going to show you what my formation is, either on offense and defense. There's no secrets here. I'm not hiding anything. And I think that's, you know, for other people, it's kind of, you know, other commentators. Look at me. Watch me sniff that screen out. Oh, my goodness. Um, the other thing that other commentators do that bother me off not putting on a show 
when they uh, do a video. Like to me, I want to see something entertaining. Like I think it's a show. Uh, this is like something that you want to learn from. I think in-game tips are great. I, I think that's a lot of what uh, people are doing when they come online and they're looking for mad. Like watching somebody else play a video game. That's yeah, okay. You know, I, I, I think kids like to do here, man. Third down, I like where the interception in this game. Like I'm, I'm about to just go nuts right now. Like where's the interception? Why is it not happening? I'm yelling like, okay, so here, I'm down 10-6. I should be beating this chump, right? This guy is no good. He's made mistake after mistake. And now I have to go to a wide set here. I go with Flanker Close and Steve Johnson gets hit right up the middle of the field. First down deep into Denver territory. Clock is running. Hurry up offense. I call the pitch play here on offense, right? Uh, I'm going to run the ball with a minute left. Why? Because the element of surprise. And Frank Gore comes right down. And then he, uh, he picks. I'm about mm, seven yards out. I hear, I call the stick play. Colin Kaepernick, can we find that end zone or are we going to make a mistake? What's it going to be? And here, play called. He's running a obvious zone. Colin Kaepernick shucks one dude off. Shucks another one off. He's going to run for the end zone and into the end zone for the touchdown. Flexes his ultimate man biceps right there. We are up 13-10. Look at me snip that screen out again. Don't bring that screen around here. That whack-ass screen. But he does pick up a nice chunk of yards. All he needs is a field goal with 18 seconds left. He has a timeout and he can tie this game. He goes deep and where is the derp interception, man? Where is it? <sighs> and here again. <laughs> What do I have to do to end this game? Finally, eight seconds left. He finally he goes to the Hail Mary. Here he had me beat. He should have caught that. But somehow the Madden God smile on me. There was one defender for three receivers. He goes for the uh, Hail Mary one more time. And uh, finally, an interception. Yeah. I mean, this game is frustrating in a lot of ways. And we win the game. That kind of looks like Dwayne Allen right there. Anyways. I'll continue uh, my, my, you know, what I don't like about other commentators. And uh, there's some great commentators out there, don't get me wrong. But uh, anyway, the pick up 17 wings. Thank you for watching my bid. Five points. I'm out.